retro rock plays everything. Hey there, real gamers and pudding cup munchers. Retro Rob here, and today we're going to be looking at a game on the Sega Saturn, which is one of my favorite consoles. I like the weird ones. Turbo Graphics, Sega Saturn, love both of them. I think they're both underrated criminally, uh, largely because the best games for them came out in Japan. And we're going to talk about a Japanese game today. That game, of course, being Bubble Symphony. Bubble Symphony is, to be honest, epic. It's just a great game. I love it. It takes Bubble Bobble, uh, which is an 8-bit classic, and by the way, a great 8-bit classic, and brings it into the 16-bit era with just everything. I mean, it's just, ah, it's so darn good. Very seldom are sequels as good as the, well, ah, I shouldn't say that. Eh, sometimes they are, but it's not always that a uh, sequel is as good as the original game and Bubble Symphony definitely succeeds at that. We're going to do some gameplay, uh, but I do happen to have an actual physical copy of this, so I want to show you the front of the jewel case. Sega Saturn Bubble Symphony. It says Ving in the corner and nothing else that I can read. Some of you who can read some Japanese, feel free to fill in the blanks in the comments down below. Here's the back of the jewel case, and it's all written in Japanese as well, except for a little bit down the corner that says licensed from the Tato Corporation. Tato, as we all know, is short for potato. Looking on the inside, there is of course an insert. It does have an actual uh, manual in this cover. And we got a registration card, and some some of the Bubble Bobble family eating dinner. Would have been really funny if this entire time I had the spine card. I do not, however, which makes it worth a little bit less. Not to me, though. And there is the game itself. Let's go pop it into a Sega Saturn and try it out. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. And here we go with some Bubble Bobble. Bubble Symphony. And this is pretty exciting. All right, so at the beginning, you can see that they really didn't change too much. This is basically the intro from the original Bubble Bobble. And then you go into the game. And you can be shocked by the beautiful graphics. For those of you who have never played the original Bubble Bobble, uh, this game has a counter system. Basically, the actions that you take, like jumping, how many enemies you kill at one time, those are all tracked inside the game. And doing different actions and different orders will make it so that you get different loot. And some of the loot can be pretty cool, like giant loot and things like that. So it's definitely worth being smarter than me. And before you play, go look up on the internet real quick uh, what all the different counters are, because I forgot to. There we go, and I need that. And I will try, try, try not to die unduly here. Ugh, I'm going to mess it up. I can feel it. There we go. Shocked myself. Come on now. So we'll try and make it to the first boss. Hopefully I'm at least playing halfway decently today. That donut. I want that donut. If you look on the left side of the screen, there is an E and a D sitting there. 
And if you collect all the letters, you'll get an extra life. So if you get it to spell extend, you will get an extra life. I hate these little guys. There we go. All right, wait for it. Got to wait for them all to get up here. Ah, oh, they're going to bump. All right, well, mess that up. <laughs> Let's try to kill them all at once. Didn't work out that way, I'm afraid. All right, this level can be a beast for me. I don't know why. It's not that hard of a level, to be honest. All right. I got to keep an eye on the other bruiser and where he's at. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've had rounds of this that went way worse. <laughs> I had a couple where I was just yelling at the screen. Hitting them, or missing them with every lightning bolt. Okay, here we go. Here, here is the uh, first boss. And I'm going to try to play halfway decently. Oh, he's getting angry. That's going to do some damage. Got to stay away from him. Whoa. No! No! Ugh, I died. Mistakes were made. Once you make one mistake... There we go. It's very easy to make more in this game. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at all that! Those of you who have played Bubble Bobble regularly, uh, have you ever missed, like, the big item? And isn't that frustrating as heck? <laughs> Drives me crazy. Ugh. There we go. Of course, there's pickups everywhere, and they all do different things. Um, they can make you go oh faster. They can't make you smarter, apparently. Uh, but they can make you faster. Right now, the enemies are frozen. And I amazingly ran into one. Easier to kill when they're moving, to be honest. Come on, you. There we go. Music in this is really good too. I know you can barely hear it, uh, but it's pretty good. Sounds pretty darn solid on this one. There we go. Speed up. Come on, get off of there. Ah. Okay, I've made a lot of mistakes this level. As I have through this gameplay. Yeah, yeah. Of course I died. And there we go. <laughs> that is Bubble Symphony, which is a freaking great game. Played poorly by me. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Cutest game ever. I am always watching.